Did you see the Miss USA story? We talked a little bit about it with Chris uh, last hour. Uh, we're joined right now by uh, Patrice Onwuka. She is a senior policy analyst at the Independent Women's Forum. So the newly crowned Miss USA, Kara McCullough, beautiful young lady from Washington, D.C., was crowned on Sunday night. And then for some reason, they got all worked up over the fact that her stance on health care is not politically correct. I don't understand this. Patrice, welcome into the program. Thank you so much. Yeah. You know, over the years, we've seen beauty pageant contestants who've come up to the microphone and can't answer simple questions. And then you get a young lady like this who's clearly very intelligent and put some thought into it. And now they're mad at her because she didn't say that health care is a right. Oh, well, well, it goes beyond that. She defies the political stereotypes that, that have been set up for her. She is a black, a young black woman, educated, actually an immigrant. She was born in Italy. Um, and so you would expect her to fall on the progressive um, philosophical end of the, the political spectrum, but she doesn't. Or at least based on the comments that she made, we're seeing that she's an independent thinking woman um, who thinks that, you know, health care is a privilege. And, and that was the question that was asked of her, which was a bad question to begin with. But she thinks that it should be tied to jobs and to work and employment. And then also, she she, she does not want to identify as a feminist um, and a man-hating uh, woman at that. So, you know, that set a lot of people's hair on fire on Twitter. You know, people who were, were congratulating her and excited to see a, a black woman as one of the finalists and one who embraces a natural curly hair style. But as soon as they saw that her, her, her views on health care were different... Then all of a sudden she becomes, you know, dumb. Uh, she's not smart. She you shouldn't listen to her. I and it's indicative of what we see very often. Yeah, I think I've got the sound here. Let me see if I can play it. Hold on. I'm definitely going to say it's a privilege. I see firsthand that for one, to have health care, you need to have jobs. So therefore, we need to continue to cultivate this environment that we're given the opportunity to have health care as well as jobs to all the American citizens worldwide. Uh, good for her. Amen. <laughs> Let's all go get a job. You know, that's the thing that gets lost in this argument all the time is that the vast majority of Americans do get their health care through work. I mean, she's absolutely right. Um, but but flying in the face of, I guess, the pageant officials, you'd think she'd gone out and posed nude like uh, Miss America did 25 or 30 years ago. Remember that? Who was that? Was that um, was the singer, Vanessa right? Vanessa Williams? Yeah, Vanessa Williams. Remember that? She had yeah. to give up her uh, her crown because of that. Well, how, how far we've come in society, <laughs> if nudity isn't what disqualifies you yeah. <laughs> um, for character, it's, it's actually just your, your political views. Uh, but she, I mean, I think she raised a great point about just getting the economy into a place where it's strong and growing. I mean, when, when you have jobs and you have opportunity, you can buy things like health care, but then you also, you're able to take care of a lot of the other needs that you have. And I think she was really smart about, uh, about that, making that connection between jobs, employment, and a robust economy. I think they took her back through a re-education camp. Like in the 24 hours after she said that, because she went on Good Morning America this morning and she said, I am privileged to have health care and I do believe it should be a right. So she she tried to correct uh, whatever she said the other night uh, this morning. And she's she hopes and prays moving forward that health care is a right for everyone worldwide. Uh, it, it, it's sad that she had to back, she felt the pressure to backtrack off of those beliefs. But, you know, there, there are a lot of us who think that health care is something that is, it's a response, it's a responsible thing to carry. And, uh, but it's not the responsibility of the government to provide it or for taxpayers to pay for every person to have health care. I think that's a really good distinction. Yeah, it, um, Patrice, has, has um, IWF, have you guys taken a position on the American Health Care Act? Uh, we think that it's a good step forward. Uh, is it a perfect bill? No, but it is certainly a way to deal with the failing Obama with Obamacare, which is falling apart. Uh, I, I, I'm sure you're well aware of all of the insurers that have pulled out of Obamacare and some mm -hmm. of the counties and states that have no coverage whatsoever. So something needed to be done, and I think the AHCA was a way to try to address it and to try to lower premiums, but to ensure that people with pre-existing conditions you know, wouldn't be locked out of, of health care. We'll see, though, what happens in the Senate. Um, and we know that the Senate is, is seriously trying to um, meet kind of a, a, an end-of-August recess deadline to, to get something passed. 
considering we still have tax reform on the on the agenda, and <laughs> we'll be running up against some other uh, some other different deadlines later this year. But it, it, it's a, it's a step forward, and we think that you know it, it's it's something that would that that could address you know the broken Obamacare and failing Obamacare system. Yeah, but, and and I couldn't agree with you more. I think it's a step in the right direction. Uh, I understand why they're doing it the way they're doing it, but uh, it, it flies in the face of the Bernie Sanders mantra that this is a right, and they're, they're pushing back hard on that right now. Here's the other funny thing I want to talk about before I let you go. Sure. Because I, I, I watched the clip. I just sort of I, wrongly, and I know that I'm stereotyping, I just kind of assumed she was just another pageant winner. She's a nuclear scientist. <laughs> yes. And they're mad Brilliant. at her because she has an opinion that disagrees with them on health care. Brilliant. You know, she also <laughs> tackled feminism and challenged, you know, the, 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 the um, progressive feminism, the second wave feminism, you know, that hates men, that thinks that victim, that every woman is a victim and that every man she sees is out to rape her on a college campus or out to, um, to pay her less if he's her boss. And I think she tackled that in, in her comments. So I, I actually didn't get to see her on Good Morning America, so I don't know if she pulled back on some of the feminism comments. But, you know, it's interesting today, the Independent Women's Forum, we have our annual uh, conference here in D.C., and we are talking about fem- feminism and how it has been hijacked and how our young women are now brainwashed to think that they are victims and to think that men are against them. And we need to fight back that, that it's just, we need to fight it back with, with truth and with statistics and with knowledge, with real knowledge. Well, good for you. I'm glad you're keeping up that fight. Uh, Fox, uh, I'm looking at an article from Fox News. They're the ones that quoted her from Good Morning America this morning. So apparently she has walked it back uh, just a little bit. So there you have okay. it. <laughs> but, Patrice <laughs> Onwuka, thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much. All right, I'll direct people to uh, the IWF website, to Independent Women's Forum at IWF.org, and you can read more about their, their efforts there. It's a good organization. As you heard, they're, they're uh, fighting the good fight. There's no doubt about it. Listen to this lady. Listen. Um, she was born in Italy, right? Uh, she came to the U.S. to go to school in South Carolina. She grew up in Virginia Beach. She was going to school in South Carolina. She is a scientist at the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission. A bachelor's degree in chemistry, concentration in radiochemistry. For goodness sake, she's a rocket scientist. And she agrees with us until they made her walk it back. That's sad that they're all attacking. They should be holding her up as an example of a strong woman who's got her own opinion.